Hi guys, so this is Joey or Rowan and this is my Sail Away in Halloween altar. <clears throat> I'm going to go over it in uh, a little bit of detail. It's only a small altar so I couldn't do as much as I was hoping to do with it. But I'm still fairly happy with how it came out. Someday I'd really like a, a much bigger altar and then I can do all the bits and pieces that I thought to do. So first thing I'm going to show you on top of my cauldron are the three pine cones that I collected at Maybon, and this has a little story behind it. Isn't that it pretty? It's like a pine cone type thing. Um, when I went at Maybon to the local graveyard to honour the ancestors there to put apple slices on graves, I actually realised I only took a few apple slices that I had cut up on my altar. And um, I was, go was going round with the name and we both said that we should have took um, a lot more because there were a lot of, an awful lot of graves that uh, had fallen into disrepair and um, complete lack of use. But we went round the whole of the graveyard um, and I was just saying, whoever you were in life, I honour you now in death, may you be at peace. And I did that for every gravestone in the in the graveyard, and it took us uh, at least an hour and a half, I think it was, um, because there were that many, and it was sad, and the gnome was saddened by it as well, so he was happy to go around with me. And when I came to leave, this was in the gate, on the gateway in front of me. So I brought it home. So it sits on my cauldron, which is a very important part of the Samhain ritual because it's the Dark Mother's cauldron and spell work can take place in the cauldron for Samhain, which is another video I'm going to talk about. So this is my altar. Let's zoom out and in a bit. Right. So at the back, as always, I will uh, lift it up, is this picture. It was a card from my sister of the triple goddess aspect and it has obviously the crone aspect and I uh, keep that on my altar now. Um, I originally I, I had ordered some black cloth and it got here and it was really plasticky and I didn't want plasticky um, cloth on my altar. I might use it for when my nephew comes to like cover the downstairs table because that makes more sense but so on each of the elements I have a skull a glittery skull that I got from TK Maxx I got a whole box of them and that's the black one and over there is the silver one for air another black one for fire and then I'll pick this this is where another that's the silvery one is on water so they alternate oh and there goes the water candle Wee. There's something about the water candle it doesn't like to stand up you have to get a new one really and obviously we have the the normal permanent fixtures which are the beeswax spirals and the little elementals and the crystals for each that you've seen before put some of the little sparkly um, Halloween confetti I got this year Look at the ghosts, aren't the ghosts cool? Let's see if we can... <laughs> I just thought that was fun. And uh, the water guardian has actually fallen on off. Let's pop him back on. Okay, so I stuck with the dark purpley blue cloth because it's still appropriate. I did want a black one, but um, say lovey. I've put my little pumpkin tea lights. These are actually um, hard containers and the candle is inside which I was really pleased with. I got these last year um, because I can reuse them. The fairy ring of toadstools is still on. My little power cauldron and the amethyst. Then we have the Morrigan. Let's just move the earth candle out of the way so we can see. Um, pillar candles in the god and goddess slot um, and around the outside is herbs of an appropriate nature right let me see if I can remember what I put on 
Uh, there was a mugwort base, there was angelica, there was um, juniper berries, willow bark. I put these gardenias on, I just, I just felt like putting them on, four in each point. Um, and a few rose petals. So that is at the base of both. There is one in that slot and one in that slot over there. And then in the centre I put my mini cauldron of power and then the larger cauldron of power. The black cauldron with appropriate Morrigan herbs in and Morrigan's pillar candle. Raven and the, these stones are onyx, and these are really, really beautiful. And I am um, after Sarwain when I moved to Yule and um, changed the candles back again. I actually have last year's Yule candles, which are perfectly well kept, so they can be reused. They will go on Morrigan's altar over there, which I have um, reorganized slightly. There's a lot more obsidian on there now. Eventually. Um, I do want bigger altars for both because I love my little altar, I think it's cute um, but I would like more space, I would like um, I would have liked to have made these into more of a circle with the um, toadstools but it, it sort of had, these had to sort of go around the edge because otherwise there just wasn't space and it turned out looking pretty cool uh, I'm just going to have a little quick word here um, about personal style and altar is a really good example. Oh, by the way, the, the salt and the water are down there. Um, you, as you can see, my altar is quite kitsch, quite, I don't know, kawaii maybe, the, the Japanese word for cute, you know, it's quite cute. Um, obviously, my pumpkins have happy faces on them, there's the confetti. Uh, I absolutely adore my guardians, this is Earth, and they have smiley faces on, apart from Earth, which is blowing the wind. And obviously these are quite cute, you know, they're, they're cute rather than dark gothic horror for Halloween. And everybody should embrace their personal style with their altar, because it is a reflection of you as well as your relationship with the divine. It's your personal way of honouring the goddess and god. Obviously this Samhain, um is my first with real offering to um, the Morgan who I recent, well, recently-ish, um, not discovered, realised was my matron goddess. So that's what I have um, the Morrigan candles in both positions here. It's not to say I'm going to ignore the god aspect at Samhain, I will not. Um, that will be part and parcel of my ritual. And I'm not completely finished because I'm going to make some candles, my pillar candles, my votive candles, um, probably today actually, I'll, I'll have a start on them today or tomorrow, uh, depending on uh, how busy today gets. Yesterday there was no videos because today just got crazy. Um, we went out and to take the car in and had a coffee and by the time I got back it was latish and on in the day and yada yada yada. So this isn't completely finished but it is a personal representation of me and my goddess and my relationship with the divine. And some people have completely dark gothic -y horror Halloween Samhain altars. But that's not how I connect with the goddess. I connect um, with a balance of light and dark, a balance of fun, joy, daftness, and um, the balance, you see? And the, the skulls, for instance, are perfectly representat representative of how I am with the goddess, because in themselves, dark little skulls on each corner for each element could be considered quite dark, but they're glittering glittery sparkly shiny you can see it coming off all over my fingers <laughs> and that to me is a perfect representation of how I feel um, my connection with the goddess is it's both um, I like the happy smiley things 
I like my personal representation of me is this. It's um, my birthstone toadstool. And that's cool, you know, you, you, you work your altar to be a, a representation of who you are. Um, and that is the, the best gift I think you can give the goddess with your altar thing because there's no point getting serious and about um, your altar because your altar has to reflect you and your relationship with the divine. And I think my altar does. And then obviously that this one over here is more of a shrine. Oh, can you see my cat? It's my Halloween cat Salem over there. Um, and that's a little bit more somber. I, I'd like some statues eventually. And once these candles are on there, it'll look fantastic. Um, and that's a more of a shrine, you see? That's more about um, in offering to Morrigan permanently. Whereas as your altar is a celebration of you, your relationship with the divine and the wheel of the year. So the message of this video, apart from showing you my altar, is embrace your individuality, embrace your creativity, and if something feels fun and happy and right for you and your altar, then do it. So that's it for um, this video. Many blessings.